Bullying is not just associated with human beings. There are some annoying animals and plants out there whose very presence can prove disastrous for those around them. Before we begin, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel, top best for everything for more. So without pandering around, let's take a look at 10 invasive species that you need to be aware of. Number 10. Asian Carp Asian carp are large, have big appetites, and reproduce quickly. They take food and habitat away from native fish and have been known to prey on the eggs of other fish species. When carp eat, they stir up sediments and organisms from the lake and riverbeds, changing a clear lake into a murky one and changing the type of species that can survive there. Number 9. Cane Toad they might look very docile and a little grumpy at first, but these amphibians pack quite a punch. They have a really amazing defense mechanism that produces toxic ooze. In their native habitat, Cain's toxic ooze doesn't affect their predators. However, those animals outside of their habitat can die if they try to eat one. Number 8. European Starlings Native to Europe, Asia, and Northern Africa, the starlings were brought over to Europe so they could control pests. Little did we know that they would become so invasive. The flocks can have more than 3,000 birds, and when they're hungry, they can damage farms. Moreover, these birds are very aggressive and tend to fight with native species over food and territory. They can even take over other birds' nests if needed. Number 7. Common Rabbit Rabbits reproduce a lot. In just 12 months, a female can have around 30 babies, so you can imagine what a smelly mess these tiny creatures can create. Their presence has actually pushed many native plant species to the brink of extinction. Not only that, their burrowing results in soil erosion. Number 6. Kudzu By the looks of it, this vine doesn't look very threatening. However, these plants can grow up to one foot and tend to smother around other plants, thereby denying them access to sunlight. These vines can also kill mature trees. Number 5. Asian Longhorn Beetle Unlike most beetles, this particular kind doesn't really bother where to lay its eggs. They can drop a load wherever they want to. The larvae are born hungry, eating sappy barks which render the development of trees pointless. Once a tree is infested with longhorn beetles, it is unlikely to survive. Number 4. Small Indian Mongoose these guys are extremely aggressive. Their presence and overall behavior has been linked to the extinction of bar-winged rail, Jamaica petrel, and the critical endangering of hawksbill turtles. They also carry rabies, which can be quite a headache for many animals. Number 3. North Pacific Sea Star These sea stars attach themselves to boats and fishing equipment and once given the chance, turn out to be very aggressive eaters. They are so hungry all the time that they would eat anything that's put in front of them. Moreover, they love to reproduce, and their presence has resulted in the steady decline of the critically endangered spotted handfish. Number 2. Mosquito Fish The tiddlers, as they are called in Illinois and Indiana, are found in shallow water, far away from larger fish. These creatures were introduced in order to tackle the large populations of mosquitoes. And while they did eat a lot of their bugs and larvae, the fish eventually became a menace to aquatic life. They are too aggressive and injure or even kill small fish. They are great at breeding so much so that they take over a natural habitat. Down under, in Australia, these fish are called noxious pests who threaten native fish and frogs. Number 1. Pythons You might be surprised to know this, but the giant pythons in the Everglades are a huge problem. There was a time when the marshy area was full of marsh rabbits, raccoons, and opossums. However, all of these small, warm-blooded animals are all gone. Once introduced to the region, Burmese pythons have been on a rampage and have quietly gone about killing all other animals. The invasive predators can grow up to 20 feet and kill smaller animals by biting them around their head and then suffocating them before proceeding to swallowing the poor creatures whole. While it is now illegal to import or purchase these giants in Florida, it's probably too late. For 25 years, these snakes have been given enough time to grow their population and rule the area. According to a 2013 study, these pythons are responsible for a 90% drop in the small mammal population 
population in the Everglades. There are thousands of pythons out there, and the Everglades' subtropical wetland environment is perfect for them to thrive. These creatures would eat anything. During many autopsies, undigested animal parts such as alligator claws, bird feathers, snail shells, bobcat claws, and remains of other snakes have been discovered. There have been times when they have even eaten fawns and deer. Now that's all in this video. Make sure to comment down below which invasive species you liked learning about the most. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this in the future.